Transforming Mars the Dice Game. This is definitely the loser on my list today. Oh, sad, 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 sad. I am a Terraforming Mars fan. I'm not a huge, amazing fan, but I am a fan. I've liked the game. I've played it lots and lots of times. And when Ares Expedition came out, I was thrilled because it made it faster and it still gave me a lot of that engine building awesomeness that I love about Terraforming Mars. And then the dice game came out and I was like, ooh, sweet, I wanna try this. And then I was so sadly disappointed. In the dice game, you're still trying to do all the basic terraforming things. You're trying to get oxygen, you're trying to get oceans, you're trying to get the heat up. Everybody's working on the same tasks. And so, you know, you could run out of opportunities to gain points from increasing heat if that gets maxed out and you have to, you know, then choose something else to do. I, I like thematically that we're still in terraforming Mars. Visually, it still looks like terraforming Mars but it's missing the soul of the game that I love so much, and that is just the ease of the engine building. This really struggles. So it does have engine building. You can build cards that can then give you more dice to roll, and you can, you know, or maybe they'll give you more cards to choose from in your hand. So there is engine building. It just, it really, really struggles. So the actions, I think that's, that's the key to it. The actions don't let you mitigate your dice enough that you can then make good choices with the cards that you have. So for example, you roll all your dice and you're like, sweet, I rolled them. You don't get to just re-roll them again. There's no option that's like, hey, re-roll all your dice again, try again, or re-roll the dice that you want to re-roll. Instead, you have to take like a reset action. But when you reset, you only get the dice that you've engine built. So you'd like your dice income. And then you get to keep a couple dice from the previous you know, set that you had, but let's say I have 10 dice and I roll them and I get nothing from them. I have to take tiny little turns to slowly adjust one dice at a time for each turn, or I can choose to get rid of all of them except for like two and start over and redo my income, which income's great, but it just, it wipes it out and makes you start from scratch. And so I find that to, to just be so disappointing that I am dependent on the luck of the roll, and then I don't have a lot of ways to easily mitigate. And I understand that if I got to roll 10 dice and then I got to get income of another 10 set of dice, that it would be overpowered. But I just feel like this game needed some more development. I feel like it needed to have the, the fun and the soul brought back into it. I feel like the people that that were winning, that had good success because they drew the right cards and they happened to roll the right dice that matched the right cards so that they could get that stuff. Like, I think it was fun and that's great. Um, but for people who have poor rolls or they just didn't draw good cards that let them build their engine, or maybe their cards just never match the objectives that they drew and you're just like, ah, it just happened. I just never got objectives. Um, like those kind of things were just, it was so lucky that it wasn't fun. And so, sadly, I have to give Terraforming Mars the dice game a four, which is just a tragedy because I was excited about it. I thought it was going to be fun. There are so many other dice games that I've played that are better, that have that have kept the fun. For example, Roll for the Galaxy. I love that because there's ways to mitigate the dice. There's ways to make it work for you. You're re-rolling each round so that it's fresh. It's exciting. Um, and you get to do fun actions. And it's... Uh, I was hoping that's what it was going to be was somewhere like that because we had Ares Expedition. Oh, I was hoping. So anyways, Terraforming Mars, nice game. I gave it a four. That's the